bells jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas day 12 already. It's halfway through December, like from the beginning of December through to Christmas Eve. It's crazy. And look at what's happening. Oh, and he's still in his room and I cannot wait to see what happens. Good morning. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm so happy to see Brown. You're what? So happy to see Brown on December. What's happening on the 12th of December? What? What happens on the 12th of December? Wait a minute. Is that what happens? What, what what did you see? Oh no! Wait, what do you think? Um Super Elf. Super Elf. Super Elf. Super Elf now? Yeah. So it's not Nomi. No, it's not Nomi, no. No, I can see Nomi from there, and that's definitely not Nomi. Can you see Nomi? Look straight ahead. I can see Nomi from here. So. <laughs> so, who is that if that's not Nomi? So, who is it then? Yeah? I wonder what he got a superhero. But Santa said he was very brave so he could get a special costume. It's, I they say uh, a costume upgrade. But that might be an upgrade? Yes. What do you think? Maybe he, was, he got an upgrade and that was the final one. Yeah? So what do Maybe. you think? Good. Do you not want to give him a hug or something? <coughs> no? <coughs> Are you a bit confused? <laughs> yes, yeah, so with no sticky feet on the screen. But do you remember we asked Santa not to because it was all getting all dirty all the time? Yeah. And his legs are all fixed now? Yeah. And he has boots? He has real boots now instead of the black ones? Yeah, after real boots. Yeah, so Santa must have listened to all our all the things we thought. And it has some special flying glasses. Yeah. And the cape. Yeah. Made of a towel. Is this a towel? A towel? I don't think a towel. <laughs> I've got elf like a self sticker on it. <coughs> it's because it's an elf cape. Yeah. So what do you think of his new costume? Good. Do you like it? Yeah. Do you want to explain to the vlog what happened then? <coughs> like, what happened like? Well, what happened to you? What, what did you just find? That Felix probably had his... They changed his skin to tan and I think he got... Do you know maybe he was just paler because he wasn't feeling very well? Do you know the way when you're not feeling very well, you're a bit pale? Yeah. Maybe because he had his checkup and all, he's a lot healthier now. Yeah, but it doesn't look the same anymore. It doesn't look the same anymore, you think? Yeah, because the tan has to go away. But that's all right. Maybe he went a bit in the sun to recover and he got a tan. Okay, look. What? I think he's got his hair. He's got his hair, you think? Yeah, yeah, he should have had his hairstyle changed. So is that changed or is that the same? It looks a bit the same, doesn't it? I don't think so. <coughs> Maybe they got a haircut to them? Yeah. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. They took really good care of him. Yeah. And they listened to everything, didn't they? Yeah. Are you happy? Yes. Do you want to open your calendar now? Yep. Yeah. Do you want to see... So, 
I really want to know who did who the lovers presents to cats. Santa paws. Who delivers presents to cats? Santa paws. Yeah. I got a necklace that looks like Christmas lights. Yep. So for the living room calendar, we got a dog, a dog with a dog bowl, and then a beetroot and a turnip for the woodland one. I don't know if you can see properly, but look at the color of the sky. It's like all pink and blue and orange. It's so nice. Guess who has a temperature? Me! Uh, it's actually really warm. And when I figured the only way I was comfortable not to warm outside was wearing just a top like this, three quarter sleeves with nothing else. And it's zero outside. I figured there was something not right, so I checked my temperature. And it was at 38.7. Brilliant. Uh, I have a cold, I don't feel, you know, I feel tired and I feel like I have the cold, but it's not that bad. But sometimes when I'm sick, when it gets towards the end, I kind of have my temperature shooting up and it makes me feel really warm and I sweat it out. <laughs> I don't know, sorry, it's not very like glamorous, but I'm now very glad I didn't take my shower earlier. Um, and I got this, I don't know if it will be nice. But I saw that it was an offer and I thought, oh, sure, and shave. You can use it as a shaving thing. I didn't realize that. But it smells very nice and fresh. Scratch for scent. It's mango and mandarin. I like fruity, fresh scents, scents especially when it has citrus in it. <clears throat> anyway, I've taken painkillers and also hopefully the temperature will go down soon. I'm going to take a cool shower to try and cool down but at least it's cold outside and I, mean, I did wear my coat because otherwise I would look like a lunatic in the snow outside. Uh, I'm going to include a tiny footage from my phone to show you the state of the path to get down to the school which is downhill and then uphill going back up. It is very very icy. Also two different things uh, my tesco delivery so uh, i had booked a slot between 10 and 11. ideally i would want it to be there for quarter to 10 because that's the ideal time really for me i'm back from school and then it means i can get on with stuff and when i was driving back from alfie school i saw there was a tesco van parked at the entrance of my estate and i thought hmm i wonder if they are parked waiting so i just parked beside them and i asked them are you going to my house by any chance and they said yes so they came at quarter to 10, which is brilliant. So now I have all my shopping away and I'm going to show you two things. I got a little <coughs> present from Tesco's. I have no idea what's inside. It's very heavy. I think last year we got something like that. So let's open it together. So, come in this gift box. Yes, I love San Pellegrino water. That's great. Oh, Owen is going to be very pleased about that. The Kinder Joy. And then... Ooh, salted caramel and chocolate cookies. And last but not least, a snowman fountain's lolly. That's really nice. It's a really nice gift. Thank you, Tesco's. I don't think you're watching this, but thank you anyway. <laughs> and then I'm going to give you a little tip of how I get organized for Christmas food. Christmas food costs a lot of money. You have to have more and all that. And you buy stuff you wouldn't usually buy on top of your normal shopping so it does cost a lot of money so what i do is that on the run up to christmas all the stuff that are non-perishable or you know can keep until then i buy a little bit every week this week this is the bar the buy of the week uh christmas to me a selection box wise it has to be quality straight and it's very handy because james and i like different ones all the ones I love, he doesn't like, and all the ones I hate, he loves. So it's perfect, we're very complimentary like this. And then I'm gonna show you <coughs> the rest of the stuff I have so far, which I got over the past few weeks. There will be more obviously, but you know, I've been gathering things slowly. So, Tesco's thankfully sells Pan Forte, which is, I don't know, what do I describe it? It's an Italian thing and because my dad's side of the family is uh, Italian, I grew up with this at Christmas and to me it is taste of Christmas and this food now sells some. So I got two of them, one for bringing for Christmas Eve and one to have at home later. 
Then I ordered this from the French shop, as you know, and this from the French shop. So that's some of my desserts, some of my 13 desserts sorted. But I've been keeping that little bag with the stuff I buy. So then, yeah. And I've also bought the cheese for the raclette, which is here, it's frozen. Uh, so then I can, you know, anything I can buy that can be frozen, I, I did as well. So, yeah, so by the time <coughs> we get to Christmas time, um, we'll have already quite a few things and it's kind of spread the costs. I know at the end of the day it's the same, you know, you do spend the same amount of money more than likely, but it's easier to buy a little bit every week I find that having to come up with a big chunk of money at the end so that was my little tip for buying Christmas stuff. Tonight Owen has swimming lesson and we're going to find out he's in level two at the moment uh, and we're going to find out he, we have to sign him up for January and we're going to find out if we're signing him up for continuing in level two or moving on to level three. I don't know if he will be going to level three yet I'm not too sure of the whole entire criteria but he doesn't seem as confident as a lot of the other children but I don't know if the other children are very confident what they, ex what they expect for that level because I don't know the criteria it's hard to know but um, <clears throat> for him he started in September and he did level one then level two when he started he was even scared of having water on his face in the bath now he still doesn't like it but he will do it oh I'm getting a message um, so it's a massive, massive improvement. So even if he stayed in level two, um, I would be very pleased. But I'm hoping for him he will go to level three because it would be a massive confidence boost for him. Um, and to show him that he's actually making progress and all that. Um, plus, he's the the different blocks we book, we book for are eight to twelve weeks, and the last two were eight weeks, but the next one is twelve weeks. So it means if he went to level two again he would have 20 weeks in level two which is a long time they can change go up and down levels uh in the middle of a block so it has to be done like that but hopefully fingers crossed for him i'd be you know I'm, i would be fine myself if he didn't but i know for him he really wants to go to level three so fingers crossed tonight he does uh, because that would yeah that would be brilliant for him i just picked up happy and he's one grumpy child right now he's been up since half five so it's it's probably wrecked He's having his lunch so hopefully this afternoon he goes to sleep yesterday i thought he tricked me he made me believe he was going to have a nap so i walked a bit of extra time with him in the buggy after picking up owen and he just didn't go to sleep but i'm hoping he does because uh bring him to the swimming lesson in the evening when he's really grumpy he's a bit of a nightmare so yeah uh i don't know if you remember last week uh, when i received my parcel with the french food i said i had ordered some soup for no, when i don't feeling i'm not feeling very well and it's the case today. I'm still feeling very nauseous. I don't know why. So, that's what I'm having for lunch. Soup! My soup is ready. As you can see, it's <laughs> not a very nutritious soup. It's literally chicken broth with some thin pasta, a bit of herbs, and that's it. But when you're not, when your stomach is not great, it usually helps a lot. I'm going to go and get Owen, wish me luck that this little monkey in there goes to sleep. He is asleep and Owen doesn't have any homework today. Um, the teacher doesn't really give them much at the moment. He usually gets extra books on top of the normal homework. She must not have been giving any normal homework. We were getting just the extra books, but she forgot to give Owen an extra book today. So no homework. Why would this people buy chicken because before I would just whip it, I bagged it, but it's okay, and I did very worst whip it. Yeah, do you want to tell them what did you do? So, I put my hand down like this. <coughs> Hello. Oh, did you blow your nose? His nose was blown. <laughs> so, so, what did you do today swimming then? I put my head down like this, and I blew bubbles at the same time. But then I went a level up of that and I kicked my legs at the same time. And why is that an amazing achievement? Because did you like to have water on your face before you started swimming? I did not. <laughs> you hated it, didn't you? But, but you're getting... we did it at the beginning. We did have to put the hair down. Yeah, just your mouth at first. But yeah. now you did your head and kind of the front of your hair as well, didn't you? 
Yeah. And next time, do you think you could go down, like bending your knees to try and put your whole head under the water? Yes. Will you, will you try? Yeah. It's just because you couldn't put the whole head because you were bending forward. Try and practice. Pretend you're in the swimming pool and let's say the water level is at your neck. Okay. Okay. And you want to bring it down. So hold on. I'm going to do the water level. Come here. Okay. Right. And try and get your water, your head under the water level. What would you do? But like, I could just do this. No, then... because it doesn't work. It's okay, it doesn't matter. Just bend, if you bend your knee, like if you are going to... See? How it does... Is that not working better? So, or I can just do this. Exactly, that's exactly what you need to do. Just bend your knees. Yeah. And then your head goes down. Yay! It's a lot easier than trying to bend and curl in a ball or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but that's a lot more scary. If you just bend your knees. I know. And some people said... Some people try to hold their nose. Yes, see, I don't like it when there's water near my nose. And I find it's a lot easier if I pinch my nose. So then the water can't go in. It makes you talk a little bit like a duck. But I know. <laughs> okay, but you don't, but you don't talk under the water anyway, do you? No. Well, that's okay. Do you think you could try that next week? Yeah, but like... That would be an amazing achievement, wouldn't it? I know, but like... The water will go in your nose because it needs to go some, in your nose yes. for some reason. But, I don't know why. Yes, but if you don't like the water going in your nose, it's okay to pinch it so it doesn't. Did you know that? But Do you not think it would be an amazing achievement if you could do that? So when you do another round of level 2 next time, instead of starting with just putting your mouth in the water, you'll be straight away able to put your whole head. Wouldn't yeah. that be amazing? Yeah. Owen is going to stay in level 2 for another round, so you can practice a bit more, aren't you? Yeah. But that's good, because then you get really good at those things. Yeah. And then you can do really well from the start. Yeah, and <coughs> the, sec the main part of the lessons is race. Is it? Yes. Oh, wow. But I don't know how that is learning. You will get faster. You just need to kick your legs a little bit. You're doing your legs are moving too. You're doing tiny moves with your legs. I know, but like, <coughs> but doing them as big as I can. I know you are. You're the trying really hard. And says to keep them down in the water. Did he? Yeah. Mhm. Mm but you you need to put them in the water, but a, a bit higher. I think that's the problem. Yeah, because I'm doing like. Let me just show you. Yeah. So. <coughs> I go like this. Yeah. So I'm trying to go down <coughs> in the water but go too deep and I'm trying to stay as big as I can but not go above the water. Yeah. That's, That's a lot of things to remember at the same time, isn't it? I know, I can't even I tried so hard. I know you're trying really hard, but don't worry. See, whenever you do another round of level two, you'll get super good at everything. Yeah, but not really wow. There's just lessons. Yeah. Okay? <coughs> yeah. Right. Now we watch a movie. Uh, do you not think it's a little bit late? Do you know a, a movie okay. that lasts 30 minutes? Oh, uh, yeah. <coughs> right. Do you want to say bye-bye to the guys? Because we're going to stop the vlog now for today. Uh, just tell them first what's going on tomorrow. We are having Christmas Day at school. Whoa. And what what else is happening in your school? It's it is is <laughs> Christmas Jumper Day. Christmas Jumper Day at school tomorrow. Woo. Are you excited? Yeah, bye.